After nearly six years, today is the D-Day here at the High Court in Windhoek for the Shorty Rasmus Karierboom Fleur saga. The four accused were in a relaxed mood as Judge President Petrus Damasep started proceedings in the B Court with the words, A gruesome crime was committed during the 4th and 5th of March 2005. The charge sheet against accused number two, or Sylvester Beekers, was addressed first. Beekers was branded a liar and a self-confessed mass murderer out of for revenge. He was found guilty on eight counts of murder, as well as an extended list of charges stemming from the initial investigations. Brother Gavin Beekers was found guilty on lesser charges of theft and possession of an illegal firearm, where Stony Needle are being found guilty of theft and possession. Erasmus listened emotionless to the verdict against him as he was acquitted of conspiring to murder his parents and sister. Damaseb said that no evidence beyond a reasonable doubt could be provided by the state to confirm Erasmus' involvement in the murders. With adjournment of the court, the burden of six years in the justice system finally caught up with a very distraught Erasmus. Lawyer Pedri Tron said the justice was done and Shorty can finally continue with his life. At this stage I would say that uh, at last uh, justice has been served. Um, you know, he's been acquitted. Um, it's been made out that accused number two, Sylvester Beekers, is an absolute liar. Um, and uh, the truth has, has actually succeeded in coming out. Um, the fact of the matter is now he can continue with his life. After six years he can put this history uh, he's trapped in his life behind him and continue and that's what we want for him is to move on in his life. Outside the High Court where a verdict of just over two hours were handed down by Judge President Petrus Damaseb, Shorty Rasmus after a not guilty verdict against him can now go on with his life. I'm Johan Nell reporting for News on One, Vinduk Namibia.